Hello, everybody. Hopefully your quarantine is going all right. Mine's not going too bad. However, I am sweating like I'm getting paid to in this place. So here we are. Now, I heard you guys wanted me to cover a little bit more global global news and global politics and those sorts of things because it's not really talked about too much. So in an attempt to be able to meet that demand, here we are. Crazy story for you, which is a representation of a larger, crazier story. So just, just follow me on this little journey that I'm going to take us through. Al Jazeera just posted an article about 18 Afghani migrants being beaten, tortured, and killed by Iranian border guards. Now, you might be wondering a bunch of things, right? Like, number one, Afghani migrants in Iran? Like, how does that work? Number two, how many Afghanis are in Iran? Number three, aren't they different sects of Islam that are always fighting? How does that work? Well, I have all the answers for you. First, let's just listen to what Al Jazeera has to say about the situation before I continue to comment on it. Okay. So here is what Al Jazeera had to say. Afghanistan's Independent Human Rights Commission said last week the Iranian guards made the migrants cross the Haririd River and, as a result, a number of them drowned. Iranian authorities have dismissed the claims, saying the incident occurred inside Afghanistan's territory. So for those of you who don't know, Afghanistan and Iran are bordered with each other. Now here's the little context here. So between 1.5 and 3 million refugees are living and working in Iran, most of them as wage laborers on construction projects. A majority of those people are from Afghanistan. However, because of the fact that there is a certain virus going on now that I, I cannot name because of the fact that YouTube is going to destroy me for it, there's about tens of thousands tens of thousands right now of Afghanis that have to go back to their country. Now, the interesting aspect of this is the fact that right now there's a minimum of 10,000 Afghani civilians dying from the war. And those are just the ones that can be accounted for. Keep in mind that Afghanistan is a heavily mountainous rural area that the government really can't control. So how many people are actually getting killed? Like we, we actually, we don't know. We have no clue in terms of how many are actually dying. Probably at least four times that amount. So at least 40,000. That's probably safe to say. I'd bet probably about a I bet probably about like, you know, 50 bucks on that one. Now, the other interesting aspect, like I had touched on a little bit earlier, is the fact that nearly 90% of Iran is Shia Islam. 85% of Afghanis are Sunni Islam. Typically, they fight each other. But in this case, Iran is helping these individuals, which I'm going to get into the specific programs here in a second. But that's pretty cool. That's a cool move. The fact that they're still helping them, even though they've been at war for... <laughs> For a long time. Let's just put it that way. Now, in addition to the 1.5 to 3 million refugees, a majority of them from Afghanistan, there's likely an additional probably about 1.5 to 2 million undocumented migrants from Afghanistan specifically. However, the U.S. government still doesn't cover any of this stuff. And the U.S. media still doesn't cover any of this stuff either. And the left media and the right media, the independent channels, don't cover this stuff either. Now, get this. According to the United Nations, refugees and migrants are allowed to not only work inside of Iran, like I had already talked about, but at the same time, they're able to participate in the national services. For example, national health insurance, permission to work in a range of occupations and documentation as opposed to simply being limited to certain projects. And in a groundbreaking move, quote unquote, according to the United Nations, since 2015, all Afghan children, regardless of status, have had the access to primary and secondary education. So while we are imposing sanctions, we being the United States, while we are imposing sanctions upon Iran, they're doing all sorts of crazy stuff for refugees and migrants to the point where the United Nations is literally coming out and saying, hey guys, like, yes, you are making the world a better place. So even though we continually think that Iran is a terrible, a horrible country, which there are certain things they obviously need to improve, just like the United States, this is, this is a cool move. Anyway, guys, I thought you guys would appreciate this. Thank you very much for listening. If you can manage, a donation to Patreon would also be greatly appreciated. Um, that way I can increase the rate of stories that I can give you guys with sources included, and I can spend a little bit less time tutoring in order to pay the bills. Thank you very much.